Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Emily Younger. Updated plans released today for a proposed expansion of East Kellogg. KSN's Hannah Adamson spoke with KDOT officials and people who could be impacted by the project. She has their reactions tonight. It's new at 10. Hannah. Jeff, Emily, the idea is to take a four and a quarter mile stretch of Kellogg from the K96 interchange to Prairie Creek Road in Andover and make it a controlled access freeway. Now, phase one, as you can see here, would elevate US 54 between 143rd and 159th streets. However, the big update tonight actually revolves around phase two. KDOT says the preferred plan is to depress US 54 between 159th Street and Prairie Creek Road. And while this plan is not yet set in stone, KDOT says it falls in line with what the majority of Andover residents want. What we're hearing from folks and the most viable option is for the west portion, which will be the first phase, that will be elevated. And then the second portion, um, the east portion, the second phase will be depressed. For some affected uh, residents, the proposed plans for expanding US 54 are long overdue. KDOT's openness to showing the plan and receiving input from the community has really been exemplary. Others say while the project is needed, details surrounding residential access and drainage through some neighborhoods need further clarification. I've lived in the neighborhood for 10 years now. My end of the neighborhood only has two ways out. And one of those ways, March, April, and May get flood, gets flooded out. Nobody can get out except for the entrance that uh, they're going to put a new bridge on. Others say phase one's estimated price tag of $226 million is too much to save 10 minutes of driving. It's a lot of money, no matter who pays. Much of Wichita, for example, which is a very large population, won't be using this East Kellogg route. Another point of debate, an estimated additional $10 million to lower parts of US 54 during phase two. You're basically creating a bathtub for the highway. So somehow you have to uh, get the water out of there. Depending on the groundwater elevation, um, you could have water there all the time, which has to be pumped out, as opposed to just when it rains or when it snows. We'd like to point out funding only exists at this point for phase one. No start or end dates for either phase have been released. However, public input for both phases ends December 2nd. We have details on how you can share your thoughts or concerns on our website, ksn.com. Here for you, Hannah Adamson, KSN News 3.